Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn about how to implement a secure REST API with the Node.js. That's very important topic like how we can secure our REST API. So we are going to learn in this video. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So I'm going to create a full fledged modules where we can learn how we can secure your REST APIs each and everything. I'm going to teach you like how we can secure because it's very important for the Node.js developer to secure your REST API so that anybody can not steal your API's data. Like suppose you have the API like the get API and it could be run in a like in a open way. Then how you can secure that API. Okay. Another method, another one that uh, there are several methods that we can secure or you can add some extra layer of security to your REST API. So we are going to learn in the coming series. So be with me. So let's get started. So here we have, first of all, let's go to the project. So any project I will open. So I will create a new folder with YouTube. Let's open in a terminal. This will create your folder secure as API. Next, go to that one. Initialize with packet.json npm init y. So it will create the packet.json. Now we have to install the following npm packages. I think I need to go with NVM use node 20 version is I think so install this packages that is body parser helmet course mongoose json web token bycrypt js dot env dot env you can skip because in the node 20 version you can use it without the use of the dot env so this is the you can see about the structure models, routes, middlewares, db.js, index, package, and .env. Okay. So I think it is installed. Let's open the code. Okay, so first of all, we have to create the models. models then we will go with user.js then routes or dot js routes auth dot js then we have a middleware auth.js then we have a db.js and index.js let's create db.js then index.js and env for the environment variables okay so let's create this so this is the full fledged structure that we have made. Okay. So let's add the code into it. So first of all, index.js file. Okay. So this is the index.js file. Let's update this. Index.js file updated. Next, db.js. I will show you each and every code. And then we have a db.js. Let's make it connection with mongoose and then we go with the another one that is models so here we have the models so let's create the models user.js then we have to go with the routes auth.js routes auth.js okay then we will go with the middleware auth.js 
middleware auth.js okay this is the complete setup now let's go with the environment variables also so here we go with the jwt secret dot env jwt secret it should be anything you can write it okay so make sure you have to add this anything else let's search in the project process dot env so we have the mongo deep mongo uri so make sure you have to add the mongo uri also so i need to go with the mongo db uri any mongo db code we have mongo db i think they have control h let's check they have this uri so this is the uri that i need to use okay let's copy and paste this any database you can mention like uh, api security okay what else they have port so you can also mention the port otherwise it will go with the default port 3000 so we'll put the 4000 save this so this is the your env file ready and they have the jwt secret which you have already done right okay fine <coughs> this is done env file now go with the step by step first of all let's go with the models models user.js okay so this is the file for creating the schema into your mongodb means you have to create the tables so username email and the password okay so which packages we are using mongoose by crypt right before saving what we are going to do we are going to generate a hash with the password then send back to the api so this is user schema dot pre means before saving you are going to modify the password before storing into the database so this is for that one and user schema methods ma uh, math match password so here we have the match password also for uh, to match or compare the password entered by the user and the password saved into the DB. For that reason, for that one, we have to compare. Otherwise, you can also just copy and paste this comparison while when you try to log in or matching the password, right? So you can directly use that one. Otherwise, this is the structured code you can say about that we are matching the password over here. Then export that module. Okay, so this is your models. Then we have to go with our middlewares so here we have the auth.js so what it's trying to do is we are using the json web token and the models so here we are just using the authorization token so whenever we try to log in so we require the author we get the authorization token or any assessing any kind of apis we require the authorization token to validate whether the user is valid or not to assess the our rest api for that reason we are using the token authorization so any endpoint that you want to authorize so you have to pass the token if the token is not validated so you are not going to return the data to that api so this is the thing that uh, anybody who try to assess our api any third party or somebody so before this is the extra security layer middleware or gs where we have to send the token where, while you are logged in okay so this is that one so here you can see that starts with bear authorization so we are going to split with this and verifying using the jwt these are the methods for the jwt when you install the json web token okay so find the user if not then you not authorized and no token is there okay if the token is not you are sending then not authorized and no token right then export that one middleware then we have a routes or dot js so here we have the login and the registered apis that we are using so you have a express json web token by crypt models okay so here we have the register part so username email password then register the user and while login here you are going to check first that the user is there or not if there then match the password user dot match password and uh, if not then invalid credentials then you are going to sign with the jwt secret and expire in one hour you have to return the token and this token can be used anywhere in your rest api to 
validate or authorize your token and return the data accordingly okay then export that one okay db.js for the mongodb connection so process.env mongo uri so you have to pass it like this so this is the this will create a connection with your mongodb okay the last file index.js file this is the main file now so we are using express body parser helmet course.env and the db okay so here you can see that we have a configuration files so the process.env port we have mentioned in express we are using okay so helmet for the security codes for the you can see about the whenever somebody tries to assess our api so we have to validate authorized domains which domains can use our api so this is for the course which we'll discuss later on body parsers or url encoded basically used for passing the data like the json body or the url form data so for that reason we have to use uh, if you are not using that means the api the data that you're trying to send into the post request will not going into the api so this is very important for post request you have if you're sending the post request you have to use this one to send the post request for, into the apis right then connect to the database import the routes and the middleware so we have import that one and they use the routes api auth okay so all the apis will come with api auth then the routes slash login slash register and the api protected so okay so there is api protected so here you are ch checking this is a protected route so if you validate this one with the authorized token then it will return the data this is a protected route else it will show that the this is not valid okay so this is get for welcome to the rest api and this is the port which we are all going to listen let's dive into the postman to check the each and every flow okay save this let's open the postman run run the project node index.js okay so here we go with this one so new parcel is depreciated so you can remove that one that's not an issue okay server is running on port 4000 mongodb is already connected okay so let's go and just make it localhost 34000 slash api slash auth slash register okay so make a post request over there make a body draw json what we require we require username email and the password username so we'll um, test 90 password admin okay email test 90 at the rate millinator dot com okay so let's try to hit it user register successfully if i go to the robo mongo to check let's connect and we have the which api security collections users and this is the api that we have created with the test 90 other millinator and the test this one so this is how the record is generated let's try to log in with that one okay so let's go with the login credentials make this auth login and make a get sorry post request and we require only the use which require what we require in the routes this is registration part and login we require the email and the password so make sure you have the email and the password let's try to hit this one and you will receive the token right let's use the how to use this token let's copy and use this with the there is one endpoint right that we have added in the index.js api protected so api let's add the protected route okay protected okay if uh, this is post or get this is get request 
let's make the get request and let's try to send it what will happen not authorized no token okay so let's pass the token authorization so we have add with bearer and this is our token okay now we have passed the authorization token also what will happen this is the protected route it will give me the data okay so nobody can assess this route until or unless they have the token okay so this is how we can secure our rest api this is the one method rest of the methods we will discuss in the later videos okay so be with me thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day